uh, first we look at FCFS, which is the simplest one. So FCFS um, essentially is first come first serve. Also, it's like a queue. Essentially, it's a FIFO order. It's very simple. It looks at each job um, that comes in the queue and then runs it to completion in the order of the arrival. So for example, I've shown you three processes here, P1, P2, P3. P1 runs for 24 seconds, P2 runs for 3 seconds, and P3 runs for 3 seconds. Uh, the Gantt chart, which is essentially, I'll show you. So Gantt charts are uh, used uh, to study or uh, to understand scheduling algorithms and the trade-offs. So essentially in Gantt charts, time flows left to right. So this is time. Um, and on this chart, you specify at any given instant which process is running. So in this um, example, P1, which came first, is running from 0 to 24 seconds. So essentially, you have P1's block specified there. And then from time 24 to 27, P2 is running. And then you specify that, so on and so forth. Um, two parameters that are of inter importance are the, is the average waiting time and the average response time. That are based, we'll compare the different queuing algorithms based on these two metrics. So we've got two of these, we've got the average wait time and the average response time. So what is the average wait time? The average wait time is the average time that a job has to spend in the queue before it gets to start running. So in this case, P2 waited for 24 seconds, um, uh, P3 waited for 27 seconds, so and P1 waited for zero seconds, right? So the average response time is zero, 24, and 27, uh, divided by three because we have three processes, and so the average response time is 17. Um, if you want to calculate the average, sorry, the average wait time is 17. If you want to calculate the average response time, then the question is when does the job finish? So these points, right? So the first job finishes at 24, the second job finishes at 27, the third job finishes at 30. And so the average response time is 27. Note that the average response time is also um, influenced by the time that each job itself takes. So, and not just what each job takes, but for example, P3's response time is influenced by the response time of P1 and P2. And so it depends on how long they are, right? And similarly for the wait times as well. And FCFS is really simple because you're making local decisions. You just, you know, as, as tasks keep coming in or jobs keep coming in, you just keep putting them in the queue and then popping the queue in order. The big challenge with FCFS, though, is the convoy effect. Uh, short jobs essentially queue up behind a long job. So for example, P3's case, it doesn't even start until 27 and it doesn't finish till 30. Um, and the problem with this is that essentially it's queued up, both P2 and P3 are queued up behind P1, uh, which, uh, which is a really long job, disproportionately long, right? P1's 24 seconds and P2 and P3 are three seconds, right? So eight times longer. And so they don't get to start until a really long time. And so your average response time is really high or is based on uh, if there's long running task in the system or not. Another example, this looking at the same example, example uh, in this case what we're going to do is change the order a little bit. So let's say that the order the jobs arrived in was P2, P3, and P1. So in the first case we had uh, P1, P2, P3, in this case we have jiggled up the orders a bit and so we have P2, P3, and P1. In this case, if you look at the waiting time, P2 is 0, P3 is 3, and P1 is 6. So your average wait time is only 3, right? And your average response time also falls down because the short jobs got started up first. So in the, if you compare the previous case, 3 versus 17, and if you compare the response time is 13 versus 27. Why did this happen? This happened because essentially we had a much nicer schedule to play with. Uh, the order that the jobs arrived in, we just got lucky. Uh, the short jobs came up before the long ones. They were able to run before the long ones. And essentially they brought down the average response time and the average waiting time. So in, to summarize, FCFS pros and cons. Pros, simple. Cons, convoy effect. And it also depends on the arrival order. So in some ways, you're subject, you don't control the arrival order. So in some ways, you're subject to the luck of the draw. So you can either have short jobs coming first, and you can have a really nice for average response time and wait time, 
or you could just have bad luck and you could have long jobs coming up first, in which case um, you have really bad response time and wait time. And so, but so you don't want to necessarily be subject to this uh, order, namely because it's the luck of the draw.